Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a giant like makeup haul for you guys in a little bit of skincare. Um, this is a bunch of stuff I ordered from Sephora, Beauty Bakery, and also a big order from Ulta. So we have a lot to talk about. Let's go ahead and get started. So this is kind of like my first big makeup purchase of the year. I've been kind of like holding off a little bit, kind of deciding what I really want and like what things I don't really need. So I kind of placed a few different orders here and there. I'll show you guys my Sephora order first. So the very first thing I got, I'm so excited for this. If you guys watch my products, I'm excited for I talked about this. Actually, a lot of products will be from that video. But this is from Natasha Denona. And this is their Diamond and Blush Face Highlighting and Contour Palette. And this is basically a um, cream and powder highlight. And I call it a blush palette, not really a contour. Um, but you get your cream products on top. It has a diamond blush and then this really pretty pinky glow color and then the bottom has um, your diamond powder powder blush and then glow extreme and I just love the colors in this the blush in this is so beautiful I love this cream one right here I'm actually wearing it on my cheeks today I'm wearing the cream blush and also the highlighter mixed together and oh, I just know I'm gonna love this thing so had to go ahead and purchase that. Next item I picked up was this cream from Drunk Elephant. This is their new moisturizer. It's called the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. And this says it's going to give immediate improvement in the appearance of skin's tone, texture, and firmness and it's going to restore younger revived looking skin and this definitely sounds like something I have been looking for. I love Drunk Elephant skincare. They're my top favorite brand. Um, I use a lot of their products daily and I definitely wanted something more like anti-aging since I am getting older. I'm going to be 26 at the end of the month so I wanted to start doing some more like anti-aging skincare um, and this one sounded amazing and this is brand new from Drunk Elephant so I cannot wait to try this. Um, I'll dig into the box here but it looks like this. It's very similar to the La La Retro whipped cream um, but it has a pump so your products stay good and it's very sanitary and I just really love the product so I have super high hopes for this moisturizer. The next item I got I was really hoping to try this one is from Hourglass and this is their Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel and I've been dying to get this because um, Benefit recalled their Give Me Brow brow volumizer and that was like hands down my favorite product. I still use mine to this day because I love it so much. I'm almost out of it but I really needed something else because it looks like they're not bringing it back. I have no idea what's going on with it if it's coming back or they're just done with it for good but that's like my holy grail brow product so I needed to find something similar so I'm going to try out this one from Hourglass because it's a fiber gel and it looks like it could be similar. Let's look at the wand. The wand looks pretty good. It's just a little bit more thick than the Benefit one but um, yeah, I'm gonna give it a try. I'll probably update you guys what I think about it. I always wanna do those like haul update things and see like what I think about products, but I always forget. But I'm really hoping that this does a good job, so I decided to go ahead and pick that up. And then the last thing from Sephora, another Hourglass product, and this is their Vanish Flash Highlighting Stick. I wasn't originally gonna get this, but I saw some swatches, I saw some people wearing it, and it just looked really pretty. And I did like their foundation, so I'm hoping that this is going to be like a really good cream highlight. And this one, I got the color Gold Flash, and this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. I definitely think it would be a really nice highlight even with fair skin. It's definitely very golden, but it's light enough that I can get away with it. I do struggle with cream products sometimes. I don't really reach for them, but this one seems like it's really good quality and something that I think I would really enjoy. Okay. All right, next I ordered some stuff from Beauty Bakery. They're an independent company. Um, I found them from Twitter. A lot of people talk about them and they have the cutest products. Their products are based off of like baked goods and like bakery stuff. It's so cute. So the little box says sweet tooth much and so cute so the first thing I ordered this is adorable but this is their beauty bakery flower setting powder and it comes in like a little flower box it is so cute I just love their packaging so this is how it looks like in the um, bag and this is the translucent one so excited to give that a try all right, next thing I ordered from Beauty Bakery is their Lip Whip. Apparently, these are like super long-wearing liquid lipsticks. I got the most popular shade, which is in Versailles. This packaging, though, is just adorable. Kind of looks like a little ice cream cone. And then, oh, does it really slide? Oh, it slides out. 
out. How cute. It looks like this. It's super pretty. This is the color. It's just a really pretty dark mauve. So yes, excited for the lip whip. And then the last thing I got, um, this was like the main reason for my order. Um, I picked up their new concealer. It's called Cake Face. <laughs> which cake face is usually bad, but it's just cute because it's like beauty bakery and the concealer is called cake face um, I did pick up the lightest shade. So we'll see how this looks um, The good thing about beauty bakery is they cater to all skin tones and they do have a lot of deeper skin tones for their products and um, Even their blushes are deep tones like they really cater towards the deeper colors But um, I decided to try some stuff out as well Let's see if this will be light enough. I have no clue. Oh, this is very like yellow toned. Ooh, this feels really hydrating, but that's the color. It might work for me. It just like brightening and stuff. It's a little bit dark, but I think it'll be fine. But I like how like it feels really hydrating when I put it on my hand. So super cute. Um, my first order from Beauty Bakery and I'm so excited to try all the goodies. And then the main part of the haul is my Ulta order. I placed a pretty big order because um, they had a 20% off coupon and I ordered on February 1st because it's my birthday month and I get double points. So definitely wanted to wait for that to place my big order. So the first thing I ordered was these shampoo and conditioner from Carol's Daughter. And this is the R Rasul Clay. And it's the sulfate free shampoo and also conditioner. And I'm really excited to try this because it seems like something I would really like. It says it's for um, overworked and overwashed hair, which my hair is definitely overwashed. Typically, I'm like the kind of person who has to wash it like either every day or every other day. And I try to go longer, but I just can't. I feel like this line is made for more curly hair, but I do want to try this out and see how it does. It sounds really awesome. Next product I got is from Maybelline and this is their Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I've been actually hearing a lot about this powder recently and how amazing it is. So I decided to pick it up in the shade Fair so it's a little bit colored. But people have just been hyping this up so much on YouTube and people say it's like comparable to the Laura Mercier. So I think they were sold out of translucent, but I think light will work. But I am excited to try the fair because I think it will add just a little bit more coverage. So I'm super excited to try this out. And then we also have something from Buxom. I picked up one of their Vava Plump Shiny Liquid Lipsticks. I've been wanting to try these and I held off until I had a coupon. But uh, my friend Sadie had this one on her Instagram and it looked gorgeous on her. So this one is called Beg for Mauve. And this is supposed to be like a shiny liquid lipstick, which I'm not sure how that works. I think it's mostly just a gloss. I don't know. But here is a swatch of it. So it's just a really nice lighter pinky mauve. It's gorgeous. I also picked up another um, brow product. This one is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Boost in Set. I'm trying to... Like I said earlier, I'm trying to find something uh, to just define my brows. That's like a gel. And this one that seemed nice. It's new from L'Oreal. I got the shade Blonde. So this one, the brush is really tiny. I'm not really sure how that's going to work, but hopefully it's going to be amazing. All right, next, I'm so excited for this. Everyone's been hyping this up as well. This just came out from Makeup Revolution. It's their new concealer, and people have been saying that it's better than Shape Tape. But it's their Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour. I picked up the shade C3. They were sold out of a lot of shades, so had to get this one. I like the packaging. It's like a pinky, rosy gold color. This tip actually reminds me of Shape Tape too. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at that Beauty Bakery concealer right now and it is so dark. Oh my gosh, yeah, that it's getting like yellow almost, so that's probably not going to work. I might have to return that one, but this is um, the Makeup Revolution one. This one looks very promising, so I'm going to have to put that on my face. I'm going to try it out tomorrow, definitely, because I'm super excited for it. So I got another concealer. This one is from MAC, and it's their water weight concealer. Clearly, I've been going on a concealer kick here. Um, I heard this was really good. I wanted something a little bit lightweight. Sometimes my Tarte Shape Tape can feel a little bit heavy on the under eyes, and sometimes I can, like... I want something that's going to be more hydrating. Um, this one that seems like it'd be really nice. The shade NW15. So here is that swatch. It's definitely lightweight. It's probably not going to be as much coverage as my other concealer, but I feel like it would be very lightweight that it won't show in lines and stuff like that. So I got a product from NYX, and this is their Powder Puff Lippy in the shade Squad Goals. 
I've seen people posting about their like mochi collection and it looks so cute. So I had to have something. Um, I guess I'll swatch this. It has a little sponge applicator. And then here's the color. So this one's kind of more like a melony pink. And that one is Squad Goals. I also picked up their lip oil. This is called hashtag this is everything lip oil. And this was sold out for a while. It has like five star reviews and people just love this stuff. Let's go ahead and swatch it. I wonder if it has like a color to it or if it's just clear. It might be just a tad bit tinted, but as you can see, you don't get much color from it. But I decided to go ahead and grab it because it had like amazing reviews. I also got this because it had good reviews, and this is the NYX Hydra Touch Oil Primer, and it kind of looks like the Smashbox one. I do have oily skin, but this had amazing reviews, and I have been wanting a more like hydrating like primers um, just to make my skin look really glowing. I also got lashes, of course. Um, we picked, I picked up the Ardell Wispy Lashes, and also the Ilore Wispy number 117s as well. I always have to get lashes every time there's a 20% off. And then I also picked up this randomly. This is also NYX. It's called their Holographic Halo Finishing Powder. I went ahead and swatched it on my arm there. It has like this purpley blue undertone, but it blends out to almost like nothing so I mean I guess I could see myself using this just as a setting powder if you want like a super pretty glow so yeah that could be interesting it could be fun to play with but I thought I would go ahead and try it and then um the last thing I got from Ulta is this Ofra highlighter in the shade Pillow Talk and I love Ofra highlighters and I saw that they were coming out with like a pinky toned one so I knew it had to be mine this is what it looks like and oh my gosh, these are so, like, so vibrant. My first swatch got a little bit in my lip oil, so look at the second swatch. It's so pretty. I definitely think this is going to be right up my yeah, alley. That's finally going to conclude my entire makeup haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like I did have, like, a ton of drugstore items this time, which is awesome. And, like, tons of fun things to try. Con tons of concealers and highlighters, I think, was, like, the main focus of this video. Let me know if you guys have picked up anything exciting recently, either from the drugstore or Sephora or Ulta. I would love to know. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.